Hi everyone, this is Donna Frosser, Chief Clinical Officer with the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. Welcome to another COVID-19 update. I'm very excited to be joined today by Mark Casson. Uh, Mark is a Golden Globe and Emmy-nominated filmmaker, playwright, and actor. He's the founder and chairman of Like-Minded Media Ventures, a media production and technology company focused on improving connectivity between Americans and the social causes they care about, such as politics, health, and entertainment. Mark's feature film directing and producing credits include Puncture, starring Chris Evans. In this role, he met Joe Chiani, who later became his business partner in many successful ventures. Mark has served on the board of the patient safety movement and has been a positive advocate for healthcare. During this moment of crisis and uncertainty, Mark has redirected his resources and talent to voluntarily produce the COVID Help Network, which launched today. The COVID Help Network is an online platform for state governors and healthcare facilities to connect directly with manufacturers, both medical and non-medical, who are converting or adapting their resources to produce emergency medical supplies in the face of COVID-19. The platform has earned the support of the Patient Safety Movement Foundation and Massimo, along with the National Governors Association and the Medical Device Manufacturers Association. It is available today for hospitals, state governments, and businesses to sign up and begin exchanging products at www.covidhelpnetwork.com. Well, thank you, Mark, for joining us today. Welcome to the Patient Safety Movement Foundation update. Thank you, Donna, my pleasure. Well, I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about your, your platform for personal protective equipment and for, and for other equipment that healthcare clinicians might need right now. Sure. Um, I have an interesting vantage point on the medical world and a lot of friends and designers uh, who want to be put to work and want to help and know a lot of clinicians, uh, both uh, at hospitals or in regulatory positions or doctors who both have needs and uh, advise or want to advise on how to get safe products out to the world. And through another project I've been working on, we've been working a lot with governor's offices and, and elected officials through the last couple of years. And so we were speaking to them in their procurement offices and said, well, what if we could take our technology and help make an exchange where people could see each other and all the governors and the state offices could put up what their needs are in any manufacturer, both medical, hospital, uh, non-medical, clothing manufacturers could put up their abilities. And with some advisors and help through the patient safety movement, through the Medical Device Manufacturing Association and some others, they could help advise how to get the right tools to the right people. Um, and if those tools need to be labeled properly so they're not suit for surgical, or they're not suit for certain purposes, but they are acceptable for frontline health care workers, we could help facilitate that exchange and provide the most tools that we can or the best tools that we could to help get them out to uh, the people who need them. That's great. So how do hospitals sign up for this and how do they actually get the equipment that they need? Yeah, um, so basically they just go to the website uh, that you mentioned and you put in your information and by that is all going on literally right now. You can go on there right now and sign up, whether you're a brand or a hospital. Uh, the governors are uploading their profiles as we speak and I think by tomorrow morning, there will be a side-by-side -side message board where people can start to say, okay, uh, that's a state I'm near or I'm a state and these are products I need. Or you can kind of go in and you can search and check each box and siphon down like you would on Trulia or Kayak or something like that. Siphon down the search so you can get very specific to what you need. Then how they get there is, you know, we are not selling them directly. We're not doing any, this ain't for profit. This is not a, uh, an exchange that we are facilitating through us the sale of anything. We are trying the best that we can to uh, connect people who have things with procurement officers and with organizations who want to buy things. Um, there are some folks there who need donations and things like that, and they, all their information is, is there if people want to help in that regard. Um, but we are there to really help facilitate the sale of stuff to people through the right channels so things can be um, verified and things can be, you know, there, there seems to be governments and hospitals who have money to pay for things but can't get a hold of them. And there seems to be a problem with price gouging and good information. So we're here to try to clear a lot of those issues up the best that we can. That's excellent. So if a hospital doesn't need to purchase anything, 
but they're interested in helping or maybe other healthcare professionals or clinicians, are there other ways that they can help with the COVID help network? Absolutely. You know, it, the, the thing that started happening immediately, even before we launched this is I was helping to try to help get an old toy manufacturer to retrofit its operations to make respirator parts and, and a handful of things like that and clothing manufacturers and we have friends who are making masks and that's been going on for a while. Uh, the thing that happened next were all sorts of different ideas around changing not surgical centers but that were made for outpatient surgeries and, and supplies and knowledge and people coming out of retirement. So those folks have started to come to the fold. So if you are one of those people, then there is a place for you to sign up, say your qualifications, say what you have and how you'd like to help. And you can do the same, connect with a place that has needs or quite frankly, become a resource to us to be able to hook you and give some up with a place that needs guidance or counsel in making sure that they can either convert something or are thinking of the right thing. Um, you know, resources come in many forms and, uh, and perspective and skill is one of them. Wonderful. Well, this is exactly what we need right now. So thank you very much on behalf of clinicians across the United States. Uh, we really appreciate the work that you're doing. As you know, our clinicians are on the front line every day and facing um, you know, true heroic uh, situations where they just don't have the equipment that they need to keep them safe. So, so thank you very, very much. I appreciate what you're doing. Um, you're, you're welcome. This is a very small thing that, that me and the folks that, that work with me are doing. It's really to support you all and, and the clinicians and, and the work that you guys do uh, every day, the men and women do every day. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. You know how much I care about your organization and the folks within it. So thank you very much. And, and we're here to help in the ways that we can. Excellent. Well, thanks, Mark. Have a wonderful rest of your day. You too, Donna. Take care.